How's it going today, folks? Uh, I wanted to give you just a quick update. I, I don't have any, uh, any video this week for you. Uh, what I ended up doing this last weekend was working on uh, my rear brakes. And, uh, you know, one of my life goals has always been to do brakes. And it's been a little bit of a slow summer here for the landscaping work. So I figured while I got the time, I'd uh, go ahead and give it a shot. So uh, it's Sunday afternoon right now. And I started this project yesterday around nine to go out and get the parts. And all I need to do now is put the tires back on and, and uh, give it a test drive. And I just want to say that I'm, I'm pretty excited. Uh, I put a lot of effort into researching how to do brakes. And uh, I watched a ton of YouTube videos and um, I, I did my own brakes. I just think that's pretty darn cool. Uh, I did cheat a little bit when I when I bought my Dodge truck back in 02. I did purchase the uh, the service manual because I figured uh, you know at some point I would like to learn how to do this stuff. So I did have the service manual, which is so nice. Um, they really step you through you know take you through step by step of uh, of what you need to do. Uh, the rear brakes, you know, I I was. Um, I knew my brakes were due, so I, over the last couple weeks, I've been pulling off a tire at a time and checking them out. And the rotor had actually locked up on, I believe it was the other side, there was, there was some rust on my, uh, my rims. And um, I took one of the rotors off, and I'll show you a picture here of, of one of the rotors that, that was worn down to there's just barely any metal left on it on one side. So it was, it was definitely time to do it. I found putting brakes on a car to be very similar to uh, splitting wood because uh, for me at least it was both a mental and a physical thing. Uh, one of the bolts that, um, not the ones that hold the calipers on, but hold the caliper mounting bracket, uh, you know, they were both really on there. It had been a long time and we have a lot of snow up here. So um, I had to go out to, to uh, Home Depot and I bought this little, uh, it's an oxygen map gas torch and I heated the metal uh, and once I heated the metal around those bolts they came off so easy uh, and it was frustrating because I was, for a while I was kind of stuck because I knew if I, if I tried to go crazy to get those bolts off or use an impact I might snap them. Uh, so that was pretty cool and then I did also get a little hydraulic vacuum bleeder. I, I emptied my um, my reservoir uh, and put fresh fluid in as well and it was pretty it was pretty nasty in there. Uh, I don't have any video of the job being done. I, I may put some video up of, uh, of just pictures of the process at the end of this one. But uh, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty excited. Um, I'm pretty tired. <laughs> I'm pretty tired too. Uh, there's some awkward positions and heavy things and because it was my first time a lot of the time I was uh, holding things in awkward positions longer than I think uh, you know most people normally would have to but um, I did a pair of brakes and uh, assuming the truck stops I'm, I'm pretty thrilled about that so hopefully we'll have something a little more exciting for you folks next week but uh, thanks for visiting and we will uh, we'll see you next week take it easy